South Korea's daily COVID-19 tally dropped back to the 500 range on Monday, a few days ahead of the implementation of a more relaxed social distancing scheme. Depending on the situation in specific regions, business operating hours as well as social gathering limits will be expanded. Che Min Jung starts us off. South Korea on Monday reported 501 new COVID-19 cases, dropping below 600 for the first time in almost a week. Although the daily tally is down compared to recent days, this is mainly due to fewer tests happening over the weekend. Of the new cases, all but 29 were locally transmitted, with the capital region accounting for more than 75 percent. On top of continued cluster infections, health authorities are on alert over the Delta variant, first spotted in India. The more transmissible variant has so far been detected in 190 cases in South Korea. Experts say this could rise as many of imported cases are from countries where the Delta variant is spreading quickly. South Korea's total caseload has now surpassed 155,000, and two more deaths were confirmed Monday, raising the total death toll to 2,015. Despite the ongoing infections, the country is set to implement its new social distancing scheme from July 1st. The current five-tier system will be switched to a four-tier version. The greater Seoul area will be under the new level two, with eased regulations on businesses and social gatherings. Under that level, businesses including restaurants, cafes and bars will be able to operate for two extra hours until midnight. The limit on private gatherings will also be raised from four people to six for the first two weeks of July. After that, it'll be raised to eight. Meanwhile, regions outside the capital are set to enforce level one, the lowest on the new four-tier scheme. Social gatherings of up to eight people will be allowed in those regions, except for Jeju, which will remain at six until mid-July. Chungcheongnam-do province will impose no capacity limits at all. Businesses outside the greater Seoul area will be exempt from restrictions as well. Che Min-dong, Arirang News.